Yo, everybody, welcome back to another video. Hopefully, I'm catching you at a good time of your day. Now, guys, we're going to be going over a very in-depth strategy guide on how you can grind up some of your brothers from zero trophies to 500 trophies. So we're going to be looking at a specific rarity in today's video, and that is the common brawlers. So the brawlers that you get out of the league rewards. So the way I wanted to set up this guide is so that you guys will have some guidance with each individual brawler starting at zero trophies. So as soon as you unlock one of these common brawlers from the league rewards, you'll have tips and a linear path in order to get from zero trophies to 500 trophies the quickest way possible. So if you guys do enjoy this video and you find it helpful, make sure to let me know. I would love to make another video on the other rarities as well, but I really wanted to focus in, dial in on the common brawlers because there are a lot of common brawlers so that we know exactly what we need to do with each individual brawlers. So hopefully you guys are pumped up. Let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so without any further ado, let's get right into the very first brawler, and that is Shelly, the first brawler that we all start off with when we first pick up Brawl Stars. So what you want to do if you're starting off with a zero trophy Shelly is unlock Showdown. So more than likely than not, if you have a zero trophy Shelly, you just started the game. So you're going to have to get 35 trophies to unlock Showdown, and then you are good to go. So with almost every single brawler in the game, I would highly recommend bringing them into Showdown when you first get them, if you want to grind up as fast as you can, because the amount of time that you put into a Showdown game translates to the most amount of trophies in the very beginning. For example, each showdown game tends to wrap up fairly quickly and the amount of trophies that you can get from taking first place is the most out of all the game modes when you're first starting off. If you take first place, you will get eight trophies. Also, the other thing to keep in mind about showdown in the very beginning, if you lose or take last place, you only lose like three or two trophies. So with most brawlers, I would highly recommend bringing them into showdown as soon as you get them and grind them up to a certain trophy level, I would say around 300. Now there are certain brawlers in the game that you can exclusively grind them up on showdown all the way up to 500 but with certain brawlers you're going to want to switch the game mode that you're grinding up on with them so that you can put yourself in the best possible situation to get to 500 trophies as fast as you can and Shelly is one of those brawlers. So for the breakdown of Shelly, I would highly recommend from zero trophies grinding up in showdown to around 250 to 300 trophies or until it's just too difficult for you to gain any trophies in showdown or if it's just taking too long to get those trophies. Once you hit that point where you need to switch the game mode, you want to play on the game modes that Shelly excels in, which is Heist and Brawl Ball. And make sure you're jumping into it with an organized team comp with players that you know in the game. I cannot stress that enough. Having that communication and that team dynamic when you're playing in game modes other than showdown is incredibly important. So for a recap with Shelly, from zero trophies to 250 to 300, grind up and showdown. Then switch gears to Brawl Ball or Heist with an organized team comp with players that you know in game. And if you hit a snag, maybe around in the 400 trophies, get a third party app like Discord or Skype to carry you up through 500 trophies. All right, so moving on to the next common brawler on our list, and that is Nita. Now, again, much like Shelly, I would recommend grinding up the first couple hundred trophies in Showdown, though Nita is a bit worse than Shelly in Showdown, so you might have to switch over to the game modes that Nita excels in at a little bit earlier of a trophy amount, say around 200. After that, you want to play in game modes such as Gem Grab and Brawl Ball. Now, in Gem Grab, what you want to do with Nita is be the aggro on your team. If you guys don't know what aggro means, it means an aggressive brawler. You want to be in the enemy team's face, as much as possible, pushing them back with your aggression and your bear so that your support brawler and gem carrier can manage the gem collection. Now in Brawl Ball, you also want to play a little bit more aggressive than most brawlers, but it's important not to die. Nita's main job in Brawl Ball is literally to push the enemy team back, and in Brawl Ball period, the whole goal is to make sure to push the enemy team back slowly, hopefully killing them so that you can create an opening to score the goal. So recap with Nita, starting at zero trophies, you want to grind up and show down to roughly 200 trophies or until it's just too difficult for you to grind up in showdown then switch over to gem grab or brawl ball gem grab being her best game mode compared to brawl ball all right guys so moving on to the next common brawler and that is colt and colt is one of the easier brawlers when we're taking a look at the different game modes in brawl stars because he excels in showdown and duo showdown like we said before in previously in the video we mentioned that some brawlers had the capability of just getting into showdown and grinding all the way up to 500 in showdown now if you start hitting a snag in showdown you just can't get those trophies fast enough on colt in that game mode you want to switch over to heist colt excels in heist because of his damage and his super. He's incredibly good at knocking down environment with his super so that your main attackers like Bull and Daryl can charge into the safe and deal massive amounts of damage. And not to mention, he just does a lot of damage. He's really good at taking out the lobbers like Dynamite and Barley. So for recap with Colt, you can push Colt from zero to 500 in showdown and duo showdown. If not, switch over to heist and do your thing there. 
Next one on the list is Bull, and Bull is actually very good in the beginning of the game on Showdown. So again, I'd recommend grinding up on Showdown for as far as you can until it starts getting very difficult, once you start getting peppered by the lobbers and stuff like that, and I'd say roughly around 250 to 300. Then you're going to want to switch to game modes with an organized team comp that he excels in, the best one being Heist. He fits the role as the main attacker with his super. He can charge in at the safe and deal massive amounts of damage with his shotgun. And if Heist isn't doing it for you, though it is his best game mode right now in Brawl Stars, you can also switch over to the game modes that he has somewhat playability in, which is Brawl Ball and Duo Showdown. So to recap with Bull, from 0 trophies to 250 to 300, I'd recommend grinding up in Showdown. Then you're going to want to switch over to Heist and grind up there with an organized team comp all the way up to 500 trophies. Alright guys, so moving on to the next common brawler, and that is Jesse, a fan favorite in the Brawl Stars community. And again, what you want to do is grind out Showdown for as long as you can until it's just too hard with Jesse. And you're going to be seeing this being an ongoing trend in the video that you want to start off with Showdown because it's the fastest game mode to gain trophies in. Believe me, you can grind up Showdown very, very quickly. So now, once it becomes too hard to grind up on Showdown, if I had to take a guess, it'd be around 200 to 250 trophies. You're going to want to switch to the game modes, Gem Grab and Brawl Ball, emphasis on gem grab she excels as the gem carrier on most maps on gem grab like i said before there's three different roles in gem grab an aggro a support and a gem carrier and jesse fits under the role as gem carrier so to recap with jesse again grind up on showdown for as long as you can because it's the fastest way possible then switch over to gem grab because it is their best game mode by far with an organized team comp so moving on to the next brawler and that is brock now brock is incredibly diverse in the meta right now he can play in multiple different game modes and do fairly well on most of them however he excels on two different game modes and that is duo showdown and bounty now in duo showdown everyone knows the team comp to talk about is brock and pokal they are tearing things up currently in duo showdown so i would recommend you could grind brock up from zero to 500 just off of that comp very very easily now if you want to switch things up he's incredibly good on bounty as well you can play him on almost every single game mode and do really well with him um emphasis on the longer range maps like shooting star and star gulch he's really really good on those maps so to recap with brock duo showdown for sure get a poke on your team and grind things out brock is one of the easier brawlers to get to 500 along with poco so get those brawlers to 500 really really quickly right now also bounty if you want to switch things up he's incredibly good on every single map in bounties moving on to the next brawler and it is dynamite and he's also very diverse in the game he can play on multiple different game modes and get to 500 very easily i got my dynamite to 500 off of bounty and it was very easy on groundhog burrow however getting back to it if you guys want to push him up again i'd recommend jumping into it showdown duo showdown push it up as far as you can because it's the quickest game mode to gain those trophies then switch over if showdown becomes a little bit too difficult to the game modes heist or bounty preferably on heist because either of the lobbers really excel on heist because of their lobbing dynamic they can throw over the walls on any heist map the safe is going to be behind walls so that that throwing element is going to come into play and it's really going to be beneficial for your team now the things that really make dynamite stand out on heist is because he has the obstacle clearing element to his super he can destroy barriers so that your attackers can get to the safe a little bit easier and your other brawlers can attack the safe with ease once the walls are broken down along with the lobbing element dynamite is just a really good brawler to bring in the heist so to recap make sure to grind down on duo showdown or showdown with dynamite for as long as you can then switch over to heist or bounty preferably on heist because he excels on that game mode you're going to get to 500 with heist with that organized team cop preferably communicating on discord if you can so moving on to the final common brawler we're going to be covering in today's video and personally my favorite common brawler and that is Bo. Now Bo is placed pretty high on the tier list that we see going on because of the maps that specifically call for his star power. He's incredibly good on bounty because he excels on the game mode Snake Prairie and Outlaw Camp and he's also really good on showdown because he's incredibly good on Feast or Famine. You can exclusively push him up on those maps 0 to 500 very easy if you have an organized team comp on those bounty maps. Now now since we're looking at Bo without his star power because you just received him from the league rewards, we need to take a look at the game modes that he's good on without his star power. So the game modes that he can play on is Showdown, Gem Grab, and Bounty. In my opinion, he's very good on those game modes. So much like the other brawlers on our list in today's video, I would grind him up in Showdown for as far as you can or Duo Showdown. I would say roughly 250 trophies to 300. Then you're going to want to switch gears to an organized team comp on Bounty or Gem Grab. I would say they are equivalent 
equivalent in playability for Bo. He's really good on the long range maps where the long range ballers shine like Star Gulch and Shooting Star on Bounty and then in Gem Grab he's really good on most maps as the Gem Carrier. So if I were to recommend your course of action from going from 0 to 500 with Bo, I would grind up and showdown 4 as far as you can. Like I said before, 250 trophies to 300 or until it's just too hard for you to push up and showdown, then switch gears to Gem Grab or Bounty, whichever one you have the most luck in. I personally have the easiest time grinding them up in Gem Grab as the Gem Carrier, but it's totally up to you. It's your preference. Alrighty guys, so that concludes the Common Brawlers and how you guys can get them from 0 to 500 trophies the fastest way possible, what game modes they're actually compatible with, what game modes you want to play them on in order to get them to 500 trophies the fastest way possible. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to let me know down below. Also, if you want me to make this video again with the different rarities in the game, I would love to do that. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on it. And with that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.